it's Yami, and I am in a new spot for you today. Um, I had to make a trip up to Michigan, and I'm in Port Huron, Michigan, at my mother's house, and I'm helping with her. Um, she had to have a small procedure done on her eye, so I'm here helping her out, but I wanted you to have a chance to see what the fall looks like up north um most of you are from florida never been up north never seen it so i thought i would give you a little insight of what it looks like in the fall in michigan so i hope you enjoy this video well this is the house i grew up at um it's changed over the years of course and my mom has put in this beautiful flower bed all along the side and these are mums and they come up every year beautiful everything here comes up every year they're perennials and these here this is milkweed and the monarch butterflies they will um, lay their eggs on here and they will hatch and then um, they eat them as you can see right here there's been a butterfly or a caterpillar that ate on that plant. And my mom, she gets the little um, caterpillars and she feeds them and she keeps them in this little container and then they will go into their chrysalis and then she will, they will hatch and then she releases them. I think this year alone she caught maybe 11 or 12 caterpillars. So, and she shares the wealth. She gives the caterpillars to other people that she knows so that they can witness this um, amazing, <laughs> amazing um, nature, human. You know, Mother Nature is something else. Most of these trees here were small when I left. Um, I left 17 years ago and these are all smaller trees um, except for this pine tree here that one's been there since I was little there was actually two of them here and my mom and I cut down the one that was here <laughs> uh, my dad he was ill so he sat and watched and supervised and my mom and I cut down that tree we had a fun time doing it this building here behind there is a big open parking lot and that's where my dad taught us how to drive. Um, he'd take us back there and we would um, drive and then he would come home and pull his hair out. <laughs> um, when he had three girls to teach. But the colors on the trees, they're starting to turn. Um, they do this every fall. And they are the most beautiful trees this time of year as you can see all the way around a lot of the trees have turned colors and they're beautiful I went for a walk this morning with my grandmother and we looked at some trees that have started to change and I'll have to show you them this yard um, we had to cut it all grown up um, with a push mower kids thought you had it hard we had a push mower we had to use and we would take turns going up and down up and down <laughs> we would start here at the end work our way down there would be a sister down there she would walk it down this way and there would be the other sister there and then we would just keep passing it back and forth back and forth until we got it done we have and I'm gonna to try to get as close as I can to them, um, Canada geese. Um, we always grew up calling them Canadian geese, but I guess their the proper name is Canada geese. And um, there's about 19 of them here. My grandmother and I counted them this morning and she sits at her window watching them and they're just magnificent. They are very pretty birds, but they are very aggressive. <laughs> they will come after you or anybody else that may bother them. But I'm going to try to get a little closer to them. There used to be a house right here where they're at, but this has been torn down. And now the geese just 
love it over here. But they're, they're quite big geese. Um, nothing like the mallard ducks at Disney. And every once in a while, we will get deer coming out of the woods over here. And my grandmother is in the house, sitting at her window right about there. Um, okay, right, right about there. That's my grandmother's window. And she can sit there and watch for the deer and watch the geese. And any other kind of wildlife that may be wandering by. This belongs to the church across the street. But they have... Um, they have, I, I'm not sure if these are bird nests, bird houses that they put in here, and they've got uh, wildflowers in there, and I don't know if they do something. They did have, I believe there used to be a school at the church. I'm not 100% not sure if they still have a school there or not, but I don't know if it's something they may have taught the kids. But I can see that they've put a little path around it. And of course our house is our house is on a dead end street, so it was always a quiet street. But here are the massive um, pine trees here. They're nothing like what you see up in Florida. Um, they feel different, they look different. The pine cones are long and skinny told my grandmother they look like turds hanging from there <laughs> uh, this tree right here has turned into a very pretty tree the color is the yellow they have some that turn so bright yeah um, orange that they are oh matter of fact you can see some right up here in this tree here you can see how orange they are that it's, it's like a, a fire orange almost. Um, sorry if you're gonna get a lot of noise from the freeway that goes right past, unfortunately, but I wanted to get you to be able to see that tree. And then there's all kinds of trees along the way that are changing. The geese have moved over to my mom's yard. We've got a few lazy ones laying over here in the shade it must be warm for them it's in the 70s low 70s right now here so it's it's a comfortable 70 for me the sun is hot there we go i've gotten a little bit closer to them got you zoomed in all the way i don't want any of them to come charging at me because they will charge at you and they will chase you <laughs> This guy over here, he looks like he's the protector. He looks like he's watching me along with that other one over there. That one that, that one right there. And this one here, it's kind of like they're watching me while the other ones eat. Um, they do that. They have one that will watch out for the rest while they eat. And he will be the one right here that will come after me. <laughs> If I get too close, he's wagging his tail like, okay, you're getting a little too close here, lady. The wire right here is in the ground, and there's um, a red stick there. That is to mark where my mom has planted tulips. And <laughs> she does this every fall. After she plants her tulips, she marks them because... If she doesn't, come springtime when the deer are out, the deer will come and eat her plants. They will pull the ball right out of the ground, eat the head right off of the tulip. So she has to mark them and put the chicken wire around it so she knows that's where the tulips are. <laughs> it's the only way she's going to get tulips in her yard. This picture is of a caterpillar getting ready to go into the J formation to turn into a chrysalis. This is um, three of the caterpillars going into the J formation at one time. This is after the J formation they turn into the chrysalis and it's very green at this time and it starts to turn brown later. 
right before they emerge from the chrysalis, you can start to see the lines of the monarch butterfly. This is once they have emerged from the chrysalis. They hang around for a couple hours until their wings can dry off. This is just a little bit closer of a picture. But I hope you enjoyed my video of my hometown, Port Huron, Michigan. And I will see you guys later. Bye.